for we who have seen the world's end, there is nothing to fear. We have seen the worst any world can offer. Well now. <laughs> uh, chilling. Hey yo folks, gonna go here. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes. Today, we're going off against going off against the Mythic Hero Thrust here. Um Yeah, she's Mythic Hero? For some reason? I'd like an explanation, because they said her godly characters. I suppose she's an undead. She's dead, that much is for sure. General of the queen of the dead, the ruler of the dead. I suppose that's something. Maybe just didn't want to make the whole category of mythic heroes nothing but dragons. Because I know for sure I don't think there are any who actually wield a sword, lance, or axe, or let alone a bow. Not that I know of any that well. Not that good when it comes to the gods of Fire Emblem. Anyway, the units I'll be using this time around are Fur uh, plus seven. She is like I love Fur. I haven't played her game at all. I just saw her and I just wanted to get her, and then I eventually got her. She was she just happened to be plus attack. I just went nuts and all that. She's plus 7, she was supposed to get to plus 10 by now, definitely could have. But I let, decided to upgrade other units. Sacrificed her uncle for Wodao, next thing you know, Lam Nameless Blade came out sometime later and I just pretty much wasted him. Uh, but here she has Reposition, Iceberg, Distant Counter, Renewal, Attack Ploy, and Spur Attack Speed. This one right here is meant to help out our buddy here. Silas! He's plus speed, minus defense. Honestly, I can't even tell he's minus defense. Uh, here he's got Sling, Spear, Glimmer, and of course his native reposition, Fury, Renewal, and his native even defense wave, along with the Darting Stance 3 seal. Um, he's supposed to deal with the crap that's right here. Uh, big fan of Silas, by the way. I, he's a good dude. Literally, I don't think there's an evil bone in his body. He is a light of Nor. I was just say he's he's a bro through and through. Speaking of bros, we got George's. Astrum is here. Uh, I think it was like five days ago, six 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 days ago when he came out. Anyway, he's plus one. He's got about two dragon flowers on him, but he's running Soul, Life and Death, Wrath. Attack Tactic and Heavy Blade. He's set. This set is supposed to just. It's supposed to be a set that makes sure you can stay in Mercurius range. He buffs himself up, he goes into battle. More likely than not, he's gonna double his opponent because he's got like 46 speed thanks to his weapon, at least. If he's buff half, uh, half elf. And then he goes in, soul. If his opponent can fight back, that is. And he gets his soul going. He has enough bulk to not take a very heavy hit unless he's facing like a dragon or something. In which case, um, he may have trouble staying above 50%, but Wrath Soul is the whole point. He's supposed to get back some health and he can even do some damage with it. It's the same idea I had with Nad during the uh, Sothis video. If you want to see how that one worked out, you can go ahead and check that video out. Uh, he's also here to lend a hand to all of his physical allies, which is what the whole team is, including Kronya. Um, plus two. She's running Athame. I think she always had Luna. Uh, but here she's got Brazen Head Defense, and everything else is just her base kit. Desperation, Distant Guard, Savage Blow. Gave that to her. I mean, how else is she supposed to work? She pretty much can oh, relies on Savage Blow, really. Um, I... Yeah, she's pretty fun to use. I don't use her, I haven't used her a lot, but when I do use her, she definitely gets the job done. Just like she's going to here. <laughs> now then. Let's get this job done. Let's get some work done. We need Fur's attack play on this one. On this Manikeet, so that the healer who turns out to have Restore just ends up healing her instead of coming to fight whoever, like Fur yes. here. So what we're gonna do? Together now. Put Silas here. When you look at him, he's all buffed up. 38 speed. That's 44. Let's and then 47 thanks to Fur's spur. Isn't it just delightful? 
And then, I'm gonna okay. have Crony here. Take out the Sword Flyer. And Savage Blow. Nice. I will fight. And then we put... Yeah, look at that. Three defense, jeez. I haven't seen that little defense on a level 40 Never unit doubt. before. Yep, there we go. Salus can take this. I will protect my friends. Nice. Hatame! I think that's how you pronounce it. That's nice. That is pretty f oh frick. Jeez, sorry, that threw me off. I think this is one of those reinforcement maps where um, the enemy actually ends up getting like they like bring in certain units if you defeat another one. You know, that's not really a fun yeah, time. Yeah. So what we do here is attack this lance fighter. Guess you wanna die. Nice. I'm gonna do this. I mean, Fur would have gotten killed anyways. I just decided to attack with Konya first. And then, Astrum's got this. You may be blue, but dude's just got so much attack. What you gonna do about it? And now he's even got Soul ready. 66 attack, man. Luckily, this bow cab decides to attack Silas. I think that's because Fur would have killed him otherwise. Mm. Don't you hold back. Ah, man, she just annihilates practically everything she fights, and I love it. <laughs> okay. So, Miss Thresseer is here. We're just gonna let her go in and get a hit here. We're gonna take her out right now. Yeah. At least try to. And Panic Smoke just hit Mercurius. I'd rather just hit Astrum. He's got Mercurius going. Yikes. Now he's utterly used. No, no, he's not. <laughs> it's fine. If he gets panicked and all that. Man. He just shook that off and just kept on going. Now we just put Kronia here in Distant Guard, and I think that's all the reinforcements. I haven't actually beaten this yet. Yep, that's all the reinforcements. Alright, so... What we're gonna want to do... We can take you out with Fur. And she's panicked. Doesn't even matter. Why not? Face my blade. God, I love I, I love her. <laughs> She's so good. She's so good. She's so fun. She's so cute. Just nothing but pluses. Hmm. Corny can double and take her out. Well, 47. Alright, she won't be able to. Actually, she can. Luna will activate. So we'll just put fur right here. Hey, get back over there. Get back here. Boom. Nice. And all that's left is that dude. And his formerly 80 HP. <laughs> Very well then. Oh yeah, let's not do that. I will fight. I'm just gonna let Silas go in. Oh, what? Is this turn base? Oh, great, I should have tried to take him out while I still could. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a problem. Oh man, I did not see these guys at all before. 
rally up, attack, and death resers. Yay! Oh no, you got both fighter. That you gotta go. Fuck, she can't kill. <clears throat> this is a problem. Time to kill. This is a problem, me amigos. All right, Silas, so go ahead and take this dude out. You're not getting past me. That's a really cool line. Okay, we need to keep Silas away from you. Hmm. 50. Oh, I'm worried about Karanya. Is that Draconic Aura? Oh boy. I should have killed that armored knight on the turn. I could have. Maybe I could have. Should have found a way to get Silas to him. That's 54. Rock Fox take away okay. four resistance. That's what it does, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah. that means. 29. Okay. I feel like that was. Is that exact damage? Time to kill? That's pretty much exact damage. 29, 29 is 58. Never a doubt. That sucks. Oh, yes. This really, really sucks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 65. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That means 16 damage. Yes. Okay, Kranya and Fur could take the Axe Knight out, but Silas is still in danger, and I think. Time to kill? I think she would be safe either. Ugh! Fourteen. Fourteen times two. Fur will pretty much die as well. Yeah, yeah. It's one shot. Must be. Sucks so much. Yes. Probably should have had Kronia attack first. Oh! Oh! He goes to attack Astrum! Oh! No! There's more! God! Ugh! Together now. Sassany has that buff. Oh, this is bad. What is that? Attack speed? So has attack speed. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, that can happen. Yeah, yeah. That can happen. Where to? How much damage is too much damage? That's how much she takes. Silas has a glimmer. He could probably take out this guy. Time to and then Kronia and Fur can take out the Lance Cav. Ashton can finish off this too. We need to finish this just in case any more el anyone else shows up. Next thing you know, Lyft is gonna show up, and then it's a whole other ball game because he's got like three other units who will also just show up with him. You're not getting past me. Yeah, I have not finished this yet, so this is a big surprise for me. I thought I had it finished because there were no reinforcements showing up Let's go. during that point that I er yeah. mentioned it earlier. Okay. We pretty much won. Yes. There we go. There's no one left. No reinforcements, right? Oh. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Sorry that took a bit. I had to think. I was uh, 
I already, I thought I had finished thinking like, earlier this morning when I was first trying this. Back then I had Death Knight and Ephraim, Legendary Ephraim helping out, but neither of them can exactly do the job I need in that Silas. Sorry about that. Neither of them could do what I needed Silas, who Silas ended up being able to do. But, thank you all for persisting through that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and tell me. What was it like for you when you faced a Thrasier map? Were you thrown off by the reinforcements arriving late like I was or something? I'm very curious, was that... Because there were certain reinforcements that showed up, and there were certain ones that didn't, depending on who I killed. But that was just straight up like turn based. Or maybe it was just because I didn't kill. That might have been it. Just because I didn't kill the Axe Knight, but I killed like the healer on that turn. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. And until the next video, take care.